welcome back to a virtual new video. Today we're back again with another video. I know it's been a little while again, it's because I'm on holiday, so I can't upload as much. My internet's not great, and it's just a bit of a pain to record when you're trying to go on holiday. But anyway, we are here now. The season starts in two weeks. The Community Shield is later this week, so it's all coming up good. Today we're doing that Q&A from ages ago. We've got quite a few questions to answer, so yeah, let's get right into it. The first question we have been given today is from Alan Billington. He says, are we going to get three in a row? Now, I think we are. I think you'll see in my Premier League predictions video that comes, I think it's next Monday, or it's a bit, It's next week, sometime next week, just before the season starts. I do think we are going to get three in a row. It's going to be tight, but Liverpool haven't made the signings that they need. They've pretty much got the same squad as last year. We've got Roger and Angelino to add to that. Hopefully, Sane doesn't go. I think that could change something if Sane does go. But in my opinion, we should get three in a row which would be incredible and it would be the only second the second team ever to do that. Next one comes from Mo the Kid who says, what's your ideal situation to happen in UCL final if City makes it? Last minute winner goes to penalties and win or we win in a demolition win. In my opinion, I prefer another late winner, last minute winner because they're always the best feeling. When you win in the last minute, nothing beats it. Balotelli, Aguero! He's got three questions. Since when do you support City? What is the most memorable Man City match? And what is your favourite City player, Griffey from Poland? So, I started to watch City pretty much from when I was born. But I guess my first game was on the 13th of December 2008 against Everton. We lost 1-0 in the 90th minute to a Tim Cahill lob over Joe Hart, which was pretty gutting as a four-year-old. But yeah, that's when my first game was. I've liked City before that, but I guess technically my first game when I started supporting them properly, and that was the 13th of December 2008. Most memorable City match, I think any City fan that was born pre-2008 would agree with this, Man City versus QPR, I was there, same seats I am now, right behind that goal where Aguero scored the goal, nothing will ever beat that, I think, I just think we will never ever beat that, never in the next 100 years, that will always be my most memorable moment as a Manchester City fan. And my favourite City player, is Bernardo Silva because I think he's amazing, he works really hard and I got a picture of him which is like here and he gave me a signed shirt as well which was a match one shirt against Rotherham which was much appreciated, thanks to Guardiola for making sure that happened, that was incredible. Next question comes from iMaster93 and he said what's your favourite goal of the 18-19 season? And there is only one possible answer. Do not shoot. Do not shoot. Do not shoot. It was that goal. Vinny scored it. I was just. It was mad. I, it was one. It was close to the Aguero moment. It just. It was such an important match, and it literally was the most incredible goal I've ever seen at the Etihad. It was the best person that could have scored it, the captain, in his, what proved to be his last ever home game at City. By the way, I'm going to his testimonial, and there will be a vlog of that. And it was just, it was perfect. That was the most memorable moment, obviously. Just the moment it just hit the back of the net, just going up and just celebrating with everyone around me. It was just an incredible moment. It was, it would have come close with Sterling's goal against Tottenham if that had counted, but obviously that didn't count. Next question comes from Team Ogilvy, and he says, One word when Sterling scored against Tottenham to win the game, then VAR disallowed it. So, I think I summed it up pretty well in the game. Gutted! Gutted! gutted was the word and gutted summed that up to perfection that's all it was i was just gutted shocked didn't know how to react it was just like the best moment you could imagine just taken away from me that was that was like the difference between us going to amsterdam and i think we would have won that game and i don't know we've been going to madrid on the first of june and we could have won our first ever champions league because of that far and because of they are it was gutting there you go gutted again yeah, gutted is the word I would use for that. I think it's summed up perfectly. 
Now, because I asked these questions a while ago, the next question is from Jim Barwe, and this is a bit outdated, but many new players you think City need next season, he feels three or four. So, obviously, we've got Angelino and Rodri, two positions we needed. I wouldn't be... I think we need a new centre-back, personally. I think that is a crucial part, because I think Otamendi's going to go, and even if he doesn't, I don't think he's good enough to play for us. Although, it will be interesting to see if Harwood Bellis and Eric Garcia can come in. I hope they can this season and play a fairly big part. It's not too big. Maybe get a bit of game time this year. I prefer to see them over Otamendi. And maybe forward. Obviously, that kind of depends on whether Sané goes. But obviously, whereas in his last year of his contract next year, he's going back to Argentina. So we could probably do with someone like Everton up front. But obviously, I don't think we're going to make any more signings this window. The next question comes from George Thomas. And he says, the best game you've been to this season. And it was the it was quite a close game. It was quite a close margin. By quite a few games, I think Leicester's up there just because of the, the way it went out and it was just a great atmosphere at the end, one of the best I've seen around the Etihad. Tottenham, I know it ended in being distraught, but it was an incredible game. And for 93 minutes, I really enjoyed that game. It was probably one of the best I've ever seen. Being Man United was good, but I don't think that's the best I've been to. And beating Liverpool was absolutely incredible. Because if we didn't win that, we didn't win the league, in my opinion. But I've got to say, I think the best game I went to was Tottenham. Because although it was ended in a bad way, I think for 94 minutes, it was just such a good game. And there was hope the whole way through. And it had the highs from scoring after three minutes, thinking, you know, we're going to do this. To the lows of 2-1 down after 10 minutes. Then we scored two goals again in before 20 minutes. It was three after 20 minutes. Then Aguero scored and he had the feeling of, yes, we're going to go through. Llorente scoring and guttiness and then the extreme happiness of when Sterling scores. So yeah, I'd say that was probably the best game I went to this year, just because it was just really enjoyable. The atmosphere was great as well, which I forgot to mention. So yeah, I'd say that was the best game I went to this season. The Toxic Guy says, would you rather support Liverpool or Manchester United? Now this is a very difficult question, because I would hate to support both of them. And if I had to say, I hate, Ma I hate Liverpool more than Man United, but then I'd hate to support Man United because... As a City fan, you don't support Man United. So I'd probably say Liverpool, although I do hate Liverpool more than Man United. Next question comes from G Brooks Epic RG, and he says, What are your opinions on Real Madrid's big spending in the transfer window? I think fair play, they're going to go for the Champions League. Obviously, they got smacked by Fletty last week, I think it was, 7 3. So I don't think they're going to win it. Hazard, 120 million, a lot of money, especially for someone that's going to come back from the summer, seven kilograms overweight. So I think that could be a big waste. And I think Zidane is a bit overhyped. I don't think he's that good. I think he got carried by Ronaldo to the Champions Leagues. So I don't think they're gonna win the Champions League, but I think fair play for spending big. They need to, they're Real Madrid at the end of the day. They've got to be winning Champions Leagues. Next, Daniel Abel says, how long have you supported City for? This goes back to the question earlier. It has been, this is my 10th season to get now. So it'd be 11 years since my first game. 10 years for a season to get. Again, this is a bit outdated now, but Hashim Hussein says, who would you like City to sign? And who do you think City will, who do you think will come to City? I would like, I said earlier, I would like to see, I'd like to see Nathan Ake, because he's got a 40 million buyout. He was very good when he played against us. Come on the ball, and not too expensive, and that left-footed centre-back that we need. And I would also like to see Everton come, because he was great in the Cup of America, good young player. And I think he could be a Jesus type of player. Next question is from Royal Black Gamer who says, who's going up and who's going down in the Premier League? So again, it's going to all be revealed in my predictions, but going down as of right now, it could change because of transfers, because the window's still open. But we have, I think I'm going to say Sheffield United will go down, Newcastle will go down, and Brighton will go down. And coming up, I think Albion will come up, I think Leeds will come up, and I think, and I think Middlesbrough will come up as well in the playoffs. So yeah, that's my predictions. But they might change between now and the start of the season. So guys, that's all your questions for now. I'll probably do another one of these next summer because I seem to be doing these every summer now for the last like three years now. So yeah, this will probably become a yearly thing. But yeah, that's all for me today. Next video will be up when it's the championship predictions because that starts this weekend. Football is back. And then also we have City Liverpool, which I might record. A reaction to that's all good make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys next time goodbye Bye.